Am I on? Am I on? Okay. Hey y'all, I am super excited. Today is an appointment I've been waiting on for a really long time. I am finally going to get under eye filler. As you can see, they are just very deep. I don't even necessarily have um, dark under eyes. They are just, it's a shadow because they are so deep, right? So I'm super excited. I've been wanting to do this for a really long time, but I just never worked up the courage to actually like book the appointment. So we're gonna leave probably about 10 minutes or so. Um, I am going to Asil Gar Eye Institute, which um, Dr. Gar is actually my husband's ophthalmologist. Um, I believe she's an ophthalmologist. She is a very skilled doctor and probably the only person I would trust to do this area. I just want my makeup to look better and I just want to look like I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I just want to like look not as tired. <laughs> I just look very tired. Like see look at that. Look at how deep that is. Yeah I tried to get my tear troughs done ignorantly <laughs> with a Groupon. Like I said ignorantly. Um, but the place I went to I can't even remember the name of it now said that they don't do tear trough filler just because of how much of a specialized area it is. And so I ended up getting my um, marionette lines done, my laugh lines done instead. And I actually like really loved the way that that turns out because these creases just used to be like a lot deeper. And like, in my opinion, those creases like aged my face. So I do have some filler. I do have a little bit of Botox, to put some Botox on my forehead as well as like a brow lift, which I'm looking in the mirror, I don't, yeah, I don't know if it worked. <laughs> in this light, it looks really bad. <laughs> um, I just wanna look refreshed and awake and when I put my Selena Gomez eye brightener on, I wanna look like a baddie. Yeah, I don't know, I've said I'm excited like 500 times, let's just go ahead and go. I am back from the appointment. I had to like take off my outside clothes and breathe because it was giving me the ick. So you ever like, be in your clothes too long and like feel like icky and like you need to change or maybe that's maybe that's just me the appointment went well though. she used restylane um i didn't we didn't really talk about what formula to use i just kind of trust her to pick the right one for my particular needs um she used restylane and she used the cannula method um prior to getting started she's basically like explaining to me what she was gonna do and she was like oh one thing that made my confidence go was the fact that she goes, oh yeah, so someone with like mid-face deficits like yourself, basically saying like, I am deficient in like the mid area and that if, you know, if we were really going for aesthetics, I would get a lot more kind of volume here, but we're not doing that. We're just trying to like undo the bags. She was talking about putting filler here to kind of prop up prop this up and then so she used a cannula here here and here and then she filled in with the residual product um just did some touch-ups in these areas to kind of like even it out i looked i look wrecked right now but i promise it looked a lot better in like low lighting and i'm sure once these little guys clear up so like the scars here or the scars there once those clear up it will that's acne don't don't look at that um so it needs a few days to you know simmer and heal up she was impressed by the fact that i did not swell immediately apparently some folks have reactions like inflammation like, right away and i didn't have that um she did say i could take zyrtec to kind of help combat that if i wanted to get ahead of it and she has patients who she knows are going to have reactions take it like for 24 hours before they come to the appointment. I probably won't bother with that because one, I don't have any Zyrtec and then two, I'm just not feeling like that's gonna be an issue, but who knows. So it doesn't look great now, but I really, like when I saw myself in the mirror, I was like. <laughs> the pain, there. I mean, there wasn't a lot of pain. Actually, the numbing cream was the most uncomfortable part, if you wanna be honest, because it was like burning my skin. But uh, the cannula, which is kind of like a, I don't know, like a little, sharp shovel um that she uses to insert like an attachment that hooks onto the actual i'm like butchering the description of this but i don't know maybe i can link off a video where they show that or just google cannula method um she put one here here and then one on this side and just kind of 
added filler, I'm assuming here, because it definitely feels different and feels more firm. And then she just used like a regular, very small Botox needle um, to uh, add it in different places here, which you can't even really see a lot of those. Yeah, you really only see it kind of in the crease. Uh, and they didn't hurt, it was just like you heard this like, this clicking, which I thought was the needle going through the skin, but she was like, oh no, that's actually the needle hitting your bone. Yeah, no, I'm really happy. Um, as far as price goes, prices are obviously going to vary depending on where you are, who does it, what their credentials are, yada, yada, yada. Um, I ended up paying $750, which I thought was a fair price. I'm considering she is a very skilled doctor and I really wanted to make sure that someone who had the experience and the credentials to do it is the one who did it because this is a very delicate area, which is why I learned which I think I said this in the intro, not a lot of med spas do this area because there is such a risk of like hitting something important in your eyeball area. So don't, if you're gonna get filler, you should absolutely do it. We are pro filler gang over here, but you should pay a little more to have somebody credible do it. So yeah, I think that's it for now. I feel like I see a difference. I feel like once I let it clear up a little bit, get my life together I'm gonna be feeling a couple years younger it's gonna be great it's gonna be great um I guess I should I'm not gonna end the video here I should probably insert a couple clips or at least some pictures of what it looks like in a few days okay so we're back a couple days later and <laughs> she is looking good um I have on makeup from earlier which i use the ilia super serum skin tint and i use the rare beauty eye brightener thingamabobber um that's the one that has like the funny applicator so it's like not actually coverage it's just meant to kind of like brighten your eyelids some but i like i'm looking at myself in this mirror like i love it i think i look so much more awake and refreshed and I am really fortunate that I am not one to bruise. So I didn't really bruise. I mean, I still have some healing to do here, but it looks really good. <laughs> I'm so happy I did this. This is the kind of look I wanted to be able to wear without having to layer on like a ton of concealer and feel like I need to be full faced in order to not look like I've been awake for the last two weeks. It looks so good I love it obviously it would not be natural if I didn't have like creases under my eyes at all that would be weird I think it's like the perfect level of perfect amount of volume and she did an amazing job um, the cannula technique I guess is more sophisticated so it you know kind of helps with the bruising maybe I don't know I just remember reading something about like the cannula method being superior and that's what she did to me um, here in order to address some of my mid face deficit as she called it well that's it that's all I have for this video I'm super excited I need to take some before and after so I can actually post like a picture of what I look like before and of what I look like after. maybe I can insert a split screen here all right that's all I have it's Friday night I am going to do some skincare I am obsessed with Dr. Dennis Gross right now. Not only do I have his extra strength daily peel pads, but I also bought the advanced liquid peel set. So it's basically a stronger version of what's on the pads in a bottle form that you just use cotton rounds with. This is like that kick you need to really keep your acne under control. And I went to Sephora today to return something and I decided to pick up uh, this which is the clarifying mask because even though like that helps a lot with acne it's meant to do it's meant to be multi-purpose right like it's also meant to help kind of keep your skin um, fresh and you know anti-aging that's what the second step is all about that kind of thing um, but this specifically is a clarifying mask with colloidal <laughs> sulfur 
and what was cool about this is because like I have certain areas of my face that are prone more prone to breakouts than others right so um typically this cheek area is more likely in like up in this area see right there and this area is more likely to break out and so what's cool about this is you can either use it as a spot treatment so for the treatment and management of acne specifically right and it penetrates pores to eliminate most acne blemishes and blackheads and helps prevent the development of new acne blemishes and blackheads cover the affected area with a thin layer one to three times daily one to three times and then leave on for at least 10 minutes then rinse for a deeper treatment apply a thick layer to the targeted area as a spot treatment or as an overnight mask that is what <laughs> prompted me to buy this i'm always in like constant war with these blackheads and like the peels and the advanced clinical peel set has been like helping keep that at bay but like my face doesn't look this good in a really long time i really it is pricey it is very pricey. so this alone i haven't even opened the box yet was 29 dollars, and it's like not that big of a tube you could probably go through one of these every couple months mm. i actually get the heads to glow kit which I don't want to gatekeep this. Good thing my good thing my videos don't get a lot of views. Which also includes get this for ten dollars more because the thirty day extra strength peel set costs eighty nine eighty eight eighty nine for like a hundred you can actually get eight of the full body uh, pads and so you're supposed to use those like twice a week to help clear up any you know booty acne you got. I alternate the pads with the clinical peel cotton rounds so every other night and i just started doing that and like my face looks so good i'm so happy um i still got some redness there's a, one other product i want to look into that caught my eye so for today which was um a polish choice product um it was basically like it was like a 20 percent aha something or the other but it was basically a deep pore penetrating cleanser that you do like once a week to help keep like your to keep your blackheads in like this area clear that's almost like 52 dollars i was like i that is not in my budget right now i didn't mean for this to turn into a skincare video but if you like skincare chat i used to not be a believer i used to not be a believer i was so confused as to why anybody would spend anything more on their face than what they could buy at like the drugstore the drugstore is not even cheap anymore and so but when i found this brand i was sold i was convinced i was like this is it after 17 years of badly acne, I have figured it out. So figured out my face. I figured out my uh, seborrheic dermatitis. I have a TikTok on that that is kind of doing well and hopefully helping people out about how to clear that up. But I'm I understand now. I understand why <laughs> people spend money on skincare now, and it's definitely for me more satisfying than makeup. Cause like I wear my skin every day, but I don't wear makeup every day. I've gotten to the point past Sandra would be so proud because there was a time in my life when I wore full face foundation every single day faithfully I would not leave the house it didn't matter if I was going on the street to go pick up something from the convenience store I was not leaving the house without a full face of foundation and I just felt so insecure in my own skin and just to be at a point where I and you know I'm still have acne the only other time I didn't have acne was when I was pregnant beautiful skin was beautiful didn't have to do nothing and look at me now I mean I have makeup on right now but this time in my life I am finally figuring out what my skin likes one other thing I put on it during the day too is this different I'm just using all kinds of chemicals apparently it's working I don't feel excessive dryness like every now and again I'll get a couple of dry flakes that need to be like rubbed off um with some mechanical exfoliation but this stuff is also pretty good and i like the way it feels because it's not a greasy moisturizer it's oil absorbing technically i don't know if i believe that but that's their claim and it's a moisturizer with sunscreen absorbs excess oil spf 30 brush spectrum this is different this is from cbs i have blabbed for 10 minutes when i meant to come on for two but highly recommend let me take it back you should love yourself and every crevice and every crack and every bag and 
if you want to do something about it i support that too yeah i love it i'm addicted i won't go back now i'm like hmm what can we get next maybe we'll get a little mm, mm, mm. no we probably won't i'm broke after 750 dollars on filler okay i love you guys i'll talk to you later bye